so <clears throat> this is a very important video regarding the hepatitis B markers and one question usually comes from this so we will start from here if the HBS antigen is negative all of the three are negative then this is susceptible of course the person is exposed now coming toward the next if your HBS antigen is negative and your NTHBC and NTHBS both are positive now focus on this NTHBS mean there was HBS antigen in the in the past there was NTHBS antigen in the past so antibodies are made against this and that have uh, neutralizes these antigen so if both are positive it is due to natural infection this is immunity due to infection immunity due to infection so whenever you are <coughs> coming next when your HBS is negative NTHBC is negative only NTHBS is positive only NTHBS is positive now this is due to vaccination because the NTHBC that is against infection if that is negative it means there was no infection if only this thing is positive and that is negative it means this is due to vaccine there was vaccination and that leads to antibody formation now if you are whenever your HBS antigen is positive it, it means infection either acute or chronic I repeat again whenever the HBS antigen is positive it means infection either acute or chronic if it is less than six months this then it is acute if it is more than six months then it is chronic anti-HBC HBC is also positive anti-HBC mean antibodies against core antigen so it has two antibodies the anti-HBC the IgG and the IgM so over here if the IgM NTHBC is positive and the NTHBC itself is positive and the HBS antigen is positive this is acute infection this is acute infection if the IgM is positive IgM means acute if the IgG is positive it shows chronic infection exposure to the past exposure in the past chronic infection mean the HBS antigen is, is, is positive the NTHBC is positive but your IgM is negative and NTHBS is negative so when your HBS antigen is positive and NTHBC is positive NTHBC is positive it means chronic infection it means chronic infection and if your this HBS antigen is negative NTHBS is negative but NTHBC is positive then any of the four interpretation above they are positive but for the FCBS, FCBS purposes you you must know uh, regarding these three things immune due to natural infection immune due to hepatitis B vaccination acutely infected and chronically, inf and chronically infected so if, if, if a person is having uh, only IgM is positive all the things are negative what is this called window period what is this called window period all the things are negative only IgM is positive this is called window period and what is window period the disappearance of HBS antigen the disappearance of the HBS antigen and the appearance of anti HBS antibodies and the appearance of anti HBS antibodies this period is called window period and during this period only IgM is positive what is window period the duration between the disappearance of HBS antigen and the appearance of anti HBS antibodies so this is what this is window period and the only test that is positive during this period is IgM if only IgG is positive if only IgG is positive what does it mean exposure in the past exposure in the past exposure in the past so uh, this was a, a short discussion regarding the hepatitis B surface antigen I hope now you can uh, pick any MCQ uh, regarding this the window period they can confuse you in the window period and they can uh, confuse you uh, in 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 case of HBS antigen which thing become positive first this is another MCQ which of the following tests become positive first the answer is 
एच बी एस एंटीजन एच बी एस एंटीजन दिस थिंग बिकम पॉजिटिव पर्सन वो ज्यादा फॉलोइंग शोज हाईली इन्फेक्टिविटी द आंसर इज एच बी ई एंटीजन पॉजिटिव दिस इज अनदर एंटीजन एच बी ई एंटीजन पॉजिटिव एन एंटी एच बी ई एंटीबॉडी नेगेटिव द एंटीबॉडी इज नेगेटिव बिकॉज देर इज एम सी क्यू ऑन दिस बिकॉज देर इज एम सी क्यू ऑन दिस सो यू मस्ट फोकस ऑन दिस थिंग बिकॉज देर इज एम सी क्यू ऑन इट सो दो द एन टी एच बी ई इज नेगेटिव एंड द एच बी ई एन टी जन इज पॉजिटिव सो दिस इज मीन हाईली इन्फेक्टिविटी इफ ओनली दिस इज गिवन एंड द एन टी एच बी ई इज नॉट गिवन अगेन दिस इज हाई इन्फेक्टिविटी वुच आर द फॉलोइंग शोज इंक्रीज चांसेज ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन फ्राम वन पर्सन टू अनदर अगेन एच बी ई एन टी जन पॉजिटिव एच बी ई एन टी जन पॉजिटिव एच बी ई एन टी जन पॉजिटिव मीन देर इज हाईली रेप्लीकेशन गोइंग ऑन एंड देर इज हाई चांसेज ऑफ इन्फेक्टिविटी and that is from mother to the offspring which are the following has high chances of transmission again hbe antigen but if it is not in the option then choose hbs antigen then choose hbs antigen this is the surface antigen this is the surface antigen and whenever the nt hbs antibody is positive when what the anti h base anti party but this is the victory this is the victory because it has got protective role because it has got protective so whenever you are having anti h b s anti bodies positive it means it means what it means immunity it means what it means immunity now this immunity is due to infection or it is due to vaccination so if all the other tests are negative it is due to vaccination it is due to vaccination if all the things are negative hbs antigen negative nthbc negative hbe antigen negative nthb antibody only nthbs is positive it is immunity due to vaccination but if your hbs antigen is positive and again with the, uh, in, uh, sorry if your nt hbs antibody is positive in the nt hbc is positive but the hbs hbs is negative it means immunity due to natural infection if the hbc is positive it means immunity due to the natural infection and the hbc if they have given you the igm it means immunity due to infection or igg is positive it means immunity due to infection so if you are having igg or positive igm positive and nt hbs antibody is positive it means immunity due to infection so you are having four varieties you are having four varieties immunity due to vaccination immunity due to infection acute infection or chronic infection you will have <coughs> hbs antigen positive this is the main thing if your hbs antigen is positive then then it is either acute infection or chronic infection but if along with that igm is positive it means this is acute infection but if that is negative and igg is positive usually with the hbs antigen the igg is not positive but if it is positive what does it mean it means repeat that repeat the investigation because the igg shows the past infection and the hbs antigen is positive again so a person is having immune and the person is having infection so this is not possible so you have to repeat the investigation so you have to repeat the investigation so this was a short clip thank you for watching